My dear beloved children, today I will tell you about some tricks that will help you to be in the third and fifth dimensions at the same time. Let's start with the fact that every person with a pure divine soul, embodied in a physical body on earth, in any case, is always simultaneously in two dimensions, and sometimes even more, depending on the level of his vibrations. So, for example, if the sixth and seventh chakras are already fully activated in him, then he is quite capable of moving with his subtle bodies to higher dimensions. Another thing is that this happens to him unconsciously and most often during meditation or in a state of altered consciousness, when for some moments he falls out of this reality. But now your task is to make such movements already conscious and, moreover, to learn how to manage them. Moreover, you will have to do this already on the go, and not in a calm meditative state, since time is inexorably shrinking, changing its parameters, and people who seek to move with the earth into the fifth dimension no longer have the opportunity to spend many hours on long meditations. Now you have to live in a kind of meditative state, which will allow you to adjust your vibrations depending on the rapidly changing circumstances of life. And the first piece of advice that I would like to give you is, learn to move any thought or emotion that arises in your mind to a higher level, to the energy space of your upper chakras. Moreover, it is very important to bring the skill to automatism, this is the only way you can get rid of the dual perception of the world. Let's take such an example. What happens to a person who reads or listens to news about crimes against humanity? Most often, anger boils in him and a feeling of powerlessness to change anything. What are the consequences of such a reaction? A sharp decrease in his own vibrations and a powerful release of negative energies outside, which are exactly what the very criminals whose actions he resents are required for. And what should be the reaction of an awakened person? The first thing to do is to track the anger rising in his energy space, which usually accumulates in the third chakra, and already consciously send these negative thoughts and emotions up into the subtle bodies corresponding to his sixth and seventh chakras. This is an energy space that goes beyond the third density and is at least in the fourth dimension. What happens at the moment when you move negative thoughts and emotions that spontaneously arise in you there? Once in a high vibration space controlled by the sixth and seventh chakras, they instantly change their color. Since negative energies are not able to exist in these high vibrations, they at least become neutral, which already allows you to look at everything from the outside, or rather, from above, without getting emotionally involved in this situation. Try, my family, to live like this for at least a few hours to consolidate this exercise. Today I want to give you another practice for transforming negative energies into positive ones creative ones, which will help you keep your vibrations high even in the most difficult situations. And again, we will start from the very first practice, moving the negative thoughts and emotions that have arisen from the lower chakras to the upper ones. From now on, this practice should become a habit for you, since it is precisely this practice that is the basis of the foundations for a person striving to move into the world of the fifth dimension. Always remember that any negative thought or emotion carries duality, and your main task is to finally get rid of the dual perception of reality. And today we will analyze another example that is often found in your life. This feeling of powerlessness to change what causes you indignation, rejection, condemnation, Resentment. It hurts you to see the injustice happening around and your inability to resist it. What can you transform the energy of powerlessness into by redirecting it from your lower chakras to your upper ones? In its opposite, in the energy of force. But for this it is very important to understand what your strength is, to find it in yourself and, most importantly, to feel it. In fact, it is not so easy to do this. Since each of you has your own strength, which depends on many factors, but by and large on the totality of your individual characteristics and physical capabilities. One may be energetically strong, another has well-developed visualization, the third has good oratorical skills and the power of persuasion, 
the fourth can influence what is happening due to his high position in the state apparatus. Therefore, to perform this practice, it is very important to find your strongest sides that will help you reprogram the impotence that has gripped you into confidence in a happy outcome. But this confidence should not be based on a blind belief that someone will do everything for you and everything will be fine, but on your own power to change the situation for the better. So, pushing off from the strength found in yourself, begin to act. Someone can immediately, without delay, begin to work energetically on the situation that unbalanced you, using the energy that your intuition will tell you. Another can create in his imagination a successful outcome of the case, imagining as vividly as possible all the nuances and details of the desired result. The third, who has the gift of persuasion, can begin to open his eyes to the true picture of what is happening to the people around him, relatives, friends, work colleagues, so that a critical mass of people who disagree with what causes rejection in you is formed as soon as possible. And those who are authorized to make decisions can change the course of events already at the physical, political or social level. In this case, the main thing is not to suffer from powerlessness, thereby only multiplying negative energies, but to begin to act. Thus, you will not only raise your vibrations, melting negative thoughts and emotions into creative and effective ones, but also make your own contribution to changing the situation that is unpleasant for you for the better. This is how low vibration dual thinking is transformed into high vibration, an bipolar. And now you can do it, my family. Today I want to talk with you about your attitude to your body during this crucial period of transition from one dimension to another. I see that many of you are so focused on spiritual and energy practices that you almost forgot about working with your physical body. In fact, everything should go in parallel, because your body is now experiencing exorbitant loads for it due to the fact that it constantly passes through itself the energies of very high vibrations and it needs to be given no less attention now than the spiritual side of your life. Being the densest, your physical body cannot pass through these energies, which are unusual for it, with the same ease as, for example, your buddhic and ethnic bodies. That's why you need to help him. We have already talked a lot about the fact that you should change your attitude to your diet, gradually switching to plant-based products. And I see that many of you heeded this advice. But now it's time to provide additional help to your physical body in order to cleanse it not only from the inside, but also from the outside. First, you need to learn how to energetically expand the pores of your skin so that it can more easily pass high vibration energies, which will contribute to the gradual rarefaction of your physical body. And here's how you can do it. In a meditative state, try to imagine the surface of your skin as a grid and then mentally begin to increase the volume of its cells and observe with your inner eye how these cells the pores of your skin are expanding. It is quite possible that you will feel it energetically in the form of a subtle movement on the surface of your skin or a slight tingling. And someone can feel how his physical body expands, increasing in volume. In fact, that's the way it is. Such visualization has a powerful effect, first of all, on your etheric body, which begins to expand thereby provoking the expansion of its physical counterpart. After you consolidate these feelings during your meditations, try to do this practice as often as possible already in working mode, that is, at any time and in any place. When your thoughts are free from worries and circumstances allow you to focus on yourself and, of course, always call for help from your heavenly helpers, who will regulate the flow of high vibration energies in such a way that your physical body does not experience discomfort, but receives the energies of those vibrations that you need right now. So, today I will give you another practice that will help your physical body adapt to the new energies that are now coming to Earth, and we will call it Towards the Sun. It is based on visualization which often affects your physical body no less effectively than energy work. To begin with, remember how plants and especially flowers behave in spring, 
When the sun warms them and they begin to open up to meet him, they greedily absorb the saving warmth pouring from heaven, which is sent to them by the gentle rays of the sun, giving them vitality and beauty. And now try to imagine every cell of your body in the form of a flower that you love the most and that resonates with tenderness in your soul. At first, these will be tightly closed buds hiding their beauty from the bad weather of the three-dimensional world. The sun had not yet come out from behind the clouds, and they shrank from the cold. But suddenly a breeze blew, the clouds dispersed, the sun came out, and everything around immediately sparkled with bright colors. Before your eyes, the flowers raised their heads, exposing them to the gentle warm rays of the sun. Then the buds begin to gradually swell, expanding more and more until they open completely, revealing their beauty to the world and trustingly exposing their flesh to the gentle sun. Fix this beautiful picture in your mind in order to transfer this energetic and physical process of opening to every cell of your body. In this case, the sun symbolizes the high vibration energies of the fifth dimension. They generously pour from heaven to earth, sweeping away everything dirty, dark, three-dimensional that has accumulated in your physical shell, and filling every cell of your body with their divine light. In volume and gratefully passing through itself high vibration energies that start the process of transforming your body into a light crystalline one. In this practice, you can use the energies that your intuition tells you, from the energy of light and love to the energy of ascension. Feel which of them is most harmoniously combined with your physical body and gives you the greatest pleasure. Don't be afraid to experiment. Folks, today we will continue talking about preparing for the transition to the fifth dimension of your physical body, which is now becoming an urgent need for each of you. Now I will give you another practice that combines the previous two thereby increasing its effectiveness. Let's call it breath of life. This practice requires already a fairly deep meditative state and the participation of all your celestial helpers. It is very important to do it slowly and in a calm harmonious state. So, completely relaxed, imagine the entire surface of your skin in the form of a mesh and then mentally begin to maximize the volume of its cell call on the ascension energy and ask it to fill your entire body feel how like flowers all the cells of your body open up to meet this gentle fertile life-giving energy which like the sun seeping through the mesh of your skin gradually fills your entire physical body with itself. Try to achieve its maximum disclosure towards the energy of ascension. Feel how your skin and all the organs of your body respond to this divine energy. Breathe deeply and calmly and when you feel that your body has absorbed the ascension energy to the maximum, having completely merged with it, Imagine that with each inhalation and exhalation you wash your entire physical body with this energy. Each of his organs, all systems of his life, bone and muscle tissues, all skin cover, everything breathes the energy of ascension as a single harmonious organism. With each breath, your body expands as this high vibration energy decompresses the packed tissues of your body. And with each exhalation, you get rid of the old three-dimensional energies that your entire body used to be filled with, and with them you are freed from all diseases, ailments, imperfections. As a result, you start the circulation of energies in your body in such a way that with each breath you you let the healing energy of ascension into it, which, by cleansing your body, helps it get rid of everything old and obsolete. Once you have mastered this practice while in a meditative state, try to transform it into a working one in order to practice such energy breathing already on the go, anywhere and at any time. It is very effective and is able to harmonize the work of your body in a short time and start the process of transforming your physical body into a light crystalline one. Today I want to give you another practice which is a continuation of the one I gave you in my previous message. Once you learn how to send all the negative thoughts and emotions that arise in you up into the energy space of the 6th and 7th chakras, you can move on to the next step. And that's what it is. After you have transformed the negative energy into more or less neutral, 
you can continue to transform it in the direction of higher vibrations. To do this, you need to do the following. Depending on what kind of energy escaped you initially, you need to reprogram it from minus to plus. For example, you can turn the energy of anger into the fire of universal love, directing it to the place where the crime occurred, or to the people guilty of this crime. I know, my family, what pain the current events in the world cause in your soul. And since you know the whole background of these events, as well as those who organized this tragic confrontation, you can carry out energy work both with the territories of these countries and with the instigators of this confrontation. But it is very important that this work be carried out in the energies of high vibrations without emotions of anger resentment or aggression. And now we will consider in detail the energy processes that you can launch into life, and what their consequences will be. Let's start from the very beginning, using the previous practice as well. For example, you read or listened to regular reports from military operations that caused you a whole storm of negative emotions. And if you approach this consciously, you can immediately send these emotions to be melted into your upper 6th and 7th chakras. Following this, already purified they can be transformed into the energy of the fire of universal love, with which you can process the entire territory, as well as its initiators. You do not need to know their names at all, since its true organizers always remain behind the scenes, and those whom you see are only obedient puppet performers. Therefore, you can formulate your intention, for example, in the following words. I ask the fire of universal love to neutralize the perpetrators and perpetrators of the ongoing tragedy for the speedy onset of peace for the highest good of all. At the same time, it is very important to remain completely calm and neutral in your thoughts and emotions. In no case do not invest in this process your understanding of what is happening, because no matter what you think, all this will turn out to be very far from reality. And be sure to call for help all the forces of light. Unlike you, much is revealed to them, so they will already direct the fire of universal love, anchored by you on earth, pointwise to those places and to those beings who are guilty. Such a practice will allow you not only to maintain your own vibrations at the proper level, but also to contribute to the speedy end of the confrontation. Do it as often as possible, my dear ones. I bless you and love you beyond measure. Father Absolute has spoken to you.